Progress by Hampton Harmonics is an 8-step polyphonic chord sequencer that makes it easy to prepare a chord progression in a patch. Here are some examples of what this bad boy can do. The main input's here. This is where you connect the clock signal to advance the module through the chord progression. Here are the progress's outputs, each representing an individual note in the chord. These outputs produce a volt per octave out, and you can plug these into the volt per octave input of your oscillators. The output marked 1 will produce the root note, 2 will produce the third, 3 will produce the fifth, and 4 will produce the seventh if applicable. The poly out will produce all of the notes in a single cable. The gate output produces a polyphonic gate for each step of the sequence, and the end of cycle output produces a trigger pulse on the first step after each full cycle has completed. This knob sets the total number of steps on the sequencer and therefore sets the number of chords in the sequence. Here's where you connect the sync or reset option from your clock. When you trigger the reset, it will restart the module at the first step of the first chord. All eight individual steps work in the same way and have the same layout. This small screen displays the selected chord in chord notation shorthand. Here's C major. Here's C minor. And here is F plus, which means F augmented. It's got that spicy raised fifth. This knob sets the root note of the chord. It also selects the octave the chord will be played in. This knob has just under a 7 octave spin. The type knob alters the quality of the chord. We have all of the common choices being major, minor, major 7, dominant 7, minor 7, suspended 2nd, suspended 4th, which is one of my personal favorite chord qualities, then diminished, and augmented. The inversion knob alters the inversion of the chord. We have 1st, 2nd, and 3rd inversions available, and the display indicates the root note of the chord with the note that is in the lowest position of the chord. You would commonly read this as the chord name over the lowest note. In this example, we have B major over D sharp. The length knob alters how many ticks of the clock must pass before the sequencer will move to the next chord. The knob spans from 0 to 16. If the knob's at 0, it'll skip the chord, and if the knob's at 16, the clock must tick 16 times before it moves to the next chord. When I make a chord progression, I usually use a clock that's 1 times the tempo. Then you can set the knob to the number of beats you want the chord to play before it progresses. A classic example is the 1-4-5 chord progression. I'm going to do 1 bar of C major, then 1 bar of F major, then 2 bars of G major. Now I use the length knob for each of the three chords and set them to 4, 4, and 8, respectively. 4 beats in a bar makes a 4 bar chord progression, and this is how it sounds. This module makes it super easy to prepare a chord progression in your patches and I encourage you to check it out and have some fun. It's free and you can get it off the VCV Rack library page by searching progress or by subscribing to Hampton Harmonics. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing and of course checking out my other content. I have a playlist with other videos just like this one on my channel and I have a Kofi page linked in the description where I post stuff for free than I normally sell on other web pages. So check that out if you like free stuff. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.